Okay, uh, displacement formula. We have a couple of formulas here that are very similar and seem, uh, seem a little bit confusing to determine which one to use and when. Specifically, if we look at this formula, what we're, uh, this formula here, we're getting uh, the displacement as a result of some individual positions. These are positions. There's no delta, which means it's not a change in position, it's an actual location. Um, how can you tell? Well, you're supposed to use the wording of the problem to figure it out. But another thing to look is, is there a reference point that's being used to indicate the location? Alternatively here, delta D1 and delta D2 are, this formula is for finding a total displacement from individual displacements. So here we have these deltas which indicate a change in position or an actual movement. Uh, the delta refers to change in position or movement and uh, so what we're doing here is we're taking like a path that's followed here then maybe this person went up here and then they went down here and we're totaling that into the, the net result which would be like this below part right here. Um, again you should be using the wording, but what you're really looking for here is did we does this this should this one should refer to where the object actually is at the end points of the movement, and this is referring to the movement itself. Here's a couple examples which uh, almost sound like the exact same thing, but one of them is giving you positions, and the other one's giving you displacements. Let's start over here. Walking home with your friend, you start 275 meters north of your house. You walk with your friend past your house to a point that is 75 meters south of your house. Determine your total displacement. So here's your house. And what this means is you're up here, 275 meters north of that house. And I would call that D1. That's a position. And then you move to some other position that is 75 meters south, D2. And so your actual path traveled here goes from one to the other, and it's this here. This is your displacement. In this case, we'd use this formula, D2, D1, and we would get a 75 meter south, minus 275 meter north. This is an example where maybe it's a little bit easier to use south as the positive direction. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to stick with my normal north as positive. It doesn't make that big of a difference. And then maybe the consistency of uh, always doing the same thing is worth it. So 75 meters north minus 275 meters north. And as a result, your total displacement here is negative 350 meters north or 350 meters south. I think we can see that here. We went this far plus this far to get all the way down, so that's the 350 meters south. Uh, alternatively, let's look at another example here. It's almost the exact same but not quite the exact same, and that's why it's a little misleading, but let's just read this one here. Walking home with your friend, you travel 275 meters north towards your friend's house, then you walk 75 meters uh, back to your house. So by the wording here, I see the word travel, and that tells me that this is an actual change in location. These aren't the locations that I'm at, but it's the changes in those locations. The secondary clue here if we go back to this problem, it says you're in this location relative to your own house and then you're in this location relative to your own house. Here we have a common fixed reference point. And here you've traveled from one location to another location. There's no one reference point that's being referred to in this question. So those are a couple of the clues that I would use to determine the difference between these two questions. Now let's look at a scale diagram here to figure out what's actually happening and how it's different. So what's happening this time is you're going up or north 275 meters. 
that's your delta D1. And then you're coming back south in your delta D2, 75 meters. From the diagram, we can see that these are very different situations as well. Uh, and then finally, from a formula, this means that your total displacement is the sum of your individual displacements. So that's 275 meters north plus 75 meters south. Now it doesn't matter if we're talking displacements, positions, whatever it is, we need a common direction again. Again, I'll make north positive. So 275 meters north plus that means that this Ne this uh, 75 meters south must be negative 75 meters north, which gets me a total displacement of 200 meters north. If I look on this diagram, let's use the green here, I can see that that's this distance right here. That's your, that's your actual change, your initial position and your final position, that's your change. You went up 275 and back down 75, and you can see that this is only 200 by looking at the diagram. So hopefully that's helpful in terms of the wording uh, and what to expect with those kinds of questions. It is still tricky, and so I would recommend that on an assessment, if you read the question and you're not sure which it's referring to, that you would ask, uh, ask your teacher to make sure that you know if you're being given positions or you're being, being given displacements so you can keep the two sorted. From this point on in the course, it's primarily going to be displacements that we're looking at, but when we do some of the graphing and some of the stuff like that, we will still consider positions.